Hi y'all, welcome back to Sophia's Take. Thanks for coming back. All right, so today um, we're gonna talk about belly bands. So what I've been noticing about this pregnancy is that she is so heavy. I'm really not even experiencing back pain yet. I know that that's going to come, but experiencing a lot of pelvic floor pain, pelvic floor weakness. I think that because I had a C-section and many of us have had a C-section, that we have weaker muscles here, especially if you didn't do a lot of exercise after your pregnancy, which is totally fine because I definitely have not done a lot of exercise since I had my first born. Just doing housework and mom work has been enough exercise for me, but I haven't really done any core work. So this pregnancy, I'm really feeling weakness here and it's making everything very, very challenging. I'm using a belly band more this time than I did the first. So I just wanted to show you all how I put my belly band on. I love to do this. I honestly am wearing it every day, almost all day now, taking it off every few hours just to give my belly a break, but I really need to use it. And then when I sit down, I loosen it because when I sit, it's way tight. It feels like I'm crunching her and I don't wanna do that. So when I sit, I loosen it. But when I'm standing or when I know I'm gonna stand for a little bit, I definitely put this on because it helps a lot. So I put it on under my belly and I just wrap it around. And now it's taking a little weight off of the front. It's giving me a little back support and it's helping me feel like I can conquer the world with this beautiful goddess. Okay, now the trick about this though is that not every little person can reach behind their back. I can reach behind my back, lucky me. I actually have these SED arms, they're, they're, they're longer than typical, um, so I don't have that issue, but I wanted, I was thinking about my fellow LP moms who have achondroplasia or pseudoachondroplasia or diastrophic dysplasia or any kind of dwarfism where your arms are typically shorter than your torso. Um, so in that case, I do have a tip that maybe can help. Okay, so we're going to put that under our bellies. We're gonna try and get, reach as far as you can, right? So let's just say you can only reach this far. That's fine. You're gonna go against the wall. You're gonna lean on the wall and you're going to turn so that your back flat against the wall, okay? And then you're gonna pull this side as much as you can and quickly lift your body, let the flap flap over and have the Velcro go. Ready, one, two, three. <laughs> That's another way potentially to help those that have limited reach. Another LP friendly way to wrap your belly is to use a scarf. There are some scarves that are specifically made to wrap bellies. Um, I'm just using a pashmina. Kind of make it like a rectangle. Gonna tuck the sides. Gonna find that sweet spot. Gonna wrap it around, twist, pull as tight as you feel comfortable. And then you're gonna tuck in the front. Tuck, 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 tuck. Right? And then you have a belly band, a little DIY belly band. The reason why I like this way sometimes is that when I sit, I don't have to adjust anything because these kind of have a little more give. So there's another option. Hopefully that helped. Let me know if it helped or if it did not help. And um, if it didn't, then any moms out there, please share how you put your belly bands on. Okay, thanks all. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.